Shesh Dilay, this is Sakina Bhatt and welcome to Tibet This Week, a weekly news on Tibet, His Holiness the Dalai Lama and Central Tibetan Administration. Let's look at the headlines. European Union calls upon China to ensure Tashi Wangchuk's release is unconditional. President of Inkata Freedom Party congratulates Central Tibetan Administration President on Tibetan Policy and Support Act 2020. Sikyong outlines agenda for the future of Tibetan sports during Tibetan National Sports Association inauguration. The incumbent Dalai Lama, the sole authority of how the next Dalai Lama should return, says Asian Buddhist Conference for Peace. Chorik Department launches Kirti Rinpoche's The Necklace for Intelligent Students, a textbook on human ethics. Japan Parliamentary Support Group meets to discuss Tibet's issue. The European Union issued a statement calling upon the Chinese authorities to ensure the release of Tibetan language right advocate Tashi Wangchuk is unconditional and that he is able to enjoy his fundamental freedoms, including freedom of movement and residence. The European Union has also urged the authorities to conduct a thorough investigation into allegations of mistreatment, torture and abuses on Mr. Wongchuk while in detention. Tashi Wongchuk was reportedly released after a five-year imprisonment for giving an interview to the New York Times about the Chinese policies of sanitization of Tibetan language and the need to protect the Tibetan language. In January 2016, he was arbitrarily detained following the release of a documentary by the New York Times. While in detention, he was subjected to torture and repeatedly beaten during interrogations. In Qatar Freedom Party's founder and president, Prince Mongosuto G. Budilezi of South Africa, congratulated CTA President Si Kyung Dr. Lopsang Singe on the success of the Tibetan Policy and Support Act 2020. He acknowledged the Central Tibetan Administration, stating, just over 10 years ago, the Inkata Freedom Party officially recognized the Central Tibetan Administration as the legitimate representative body for the Tibetan people, both inside Tibet and in the exiled diaspora. He observed the historic significance of the bill becoming official U.S. policy and expressed hope that under the newly elected President Biden's administration, it will be implemented accordingly. CTA President Dr. Lopsang Singe inaugurated Tibetan National Sports Association office under the Health Department on Tuesday this week. As the chief guest of the event, Dr. Singe commended the Tibetan National Sports Association on their notable achievements. He added that before the integration into the Health Department in 2019, Tibetan National Sports Association members had been in contact with CTA since 2015 regarding funding requirements and prospects for football and had accordingly received funding from Health Department for football ground and Gelium Chenmo Memorial Cup expenses throughout the years. In view of the funding issues and appeals from the body, it was subsequently decided to integrate Tibetan National Sports Association into the Health Department and allotted annual budget under the Health Department in 2019. Si Kyung highlighted the need for nurturing youth talents in achieving national and global distinction. Health Kanu Chokyong Wongchuk assured that the department will continue to provide all the necessary assistance to the association while commending its self-reliance. The Executive Council meeting of Asian Buddhist Conference for Peace, which was held in Sri Lanka, recently passed a resolution for the future status of the Dalai Lama Institution. Asian Buddhist Council for Peace Executive Council unanimously supports the three points with regard to the future status of the Dalai Lama institution. To continue the institution and reincarnation of the Dalai Lama in the future. The incumbent 14th Dalai Lama to be the sole authority of how the next reincarnation of the Dalai Lama should return and the Tibetan people never to recognize any Dalai Lama reincarnation candidate chosen and installed by the Chinese government and to employ the eight centuries old unique Tibetan traditional method in searching and recognizing the next Dalai Lama. 
In honor of the gratitude year to His Holiness the Dalai Lama, the Department of Religion and Culture, CTA launched its second publication of the 69th volume of a textbook, The Necklace for Intelligent Students, composed by Kasur Kirti Rinpoche. Unveiling the textbook, C. Kyung Dr. Lupsang Singe lauded the initiative taken by Kirti Rinpoche and his institution for coming out with textbooks that teaches human ethics and value education to the students. This first publication of the textbook was unveiled by His Holiness the Dalai Lama at the 25th founding anniversary of the Kirti Monastery in Dharamshala. With a diet in session, the governing body of the all-party Japanese Parliamentary Support Group for Tibet convened a meeting on the House of Representatives Office building to discuss the issue of Tibet and to introduce Dr. Tsewong Gyalbo Arya as the new representative of the Liaison Office of His Holiness the Dalai Lama in Japan and East Asia. Eighteen Japanese parliamentarians from different political parties attended the meeting. Mr. Nakao Takashi, General Secretary of the All-Party Japanese Parliamentary Support Group, Mr. Shimomura Hakuban, Chairman of the All-Party Japanese Parliamentary Support Group for Tibet, and Ms. Sakurai Yoshiko, President of the Japan Institute of National Fundamental, attended the meeting. The dignitaries appealed to the Japanese parliamentarians to join the Parliamentary Support Group for Tibet and called for the need to strengthen support for the Tibetan people's rights for justice and their nonviolent freedom struggle. Dr. Sewon Gelbo Arya, representative of His Holiness the Dalai Lama in Japan, briefed on the recent developments in Tibet, particularly the successful passage of the 2020 Tibetan Policy and Support Act in the U.S. Parliament and signed by President Donald Trump last year. So much for this week. See you next time and have a great weekend.